Hi, everybody. 2012, we've uncovered a couple videos for Thomas John, psychic medium of the stars or whatever. So I'm going to show you a video. This is three minutes, nine seconds long. It is produced by a YouTube channel called PR World. Mm -hmm. And PR World is seems to be a channel devoted it's kind of looks like it's defunct now it's devoted to promoting people through pr like a pr company this video i'm going to show you right now according to the description it says describes the difference between psychic and psychic medium his work on cold cases and much more tv psychic www.mediumthomas.com and then it has media contact information uh conscientious publicity.com publicist that's their um i guess they represented him the view was uh, views are 5320 as of this moment it was uploaded april 13th 2012 and i am recording this video right now on february 7th 2024 i don't know what i'm going to see i don't know what's going to happen i haven't watched this video yet let's take a quick glance at this um, yes, he is much younger, and uh, that's what you would expect for 10 years or more ago. And one of the things I do want you to notice is that this isn't a high-end video or high-end place he's shooting from. This is his beginnings. And if you'll notice, there is a box of tissue Kleenex right next to him. Now, Mark Edward is uh, somebody who worked in the psychic business and is a mentalist and he has told me multiple times that if you get a person at a certain point in the reading that you think you could make them start to cry you think you can get the tears going what you do is you pull out a box of kleenex from underneath somewhere or somewhere and then you hand it to them and then they that's it floodgates open so having the Kleenex out or even having Kleenex present at all is setting the person who is getting the reading, the motivated sitter, to knowing that this is going to be an emotional thing. It's common for people to cry here. You have my permission to cry is basically what they're saying. 2012. Let's take a, a quick brief moment and see what was going on in 2012. I'm no expert on Thomas John. I guess I'm close to being an expert as much as it feels like it, as much as I've watched his uh, readings. But in 2009, and I will put a link to this article in the description under this video, there is an article called by Jay Shaft, Drag Queen Vera, Lady Vera Parker Arrested in Chicago. It says, Thomas Flanagan, also known as drag entertainer Lady Vera Parker, Parker, has been jailed on two felony counts, one of theft and one of theft by deception, as confirmed to ChicagoPride.com by the Circuit Court's Information Office. The 25-year-old Flanagan was booked on Thursday, July 2nd, and is being held at the Cook County Jail. And then it goes on and talks a little bit about it. He appeared in the drag scene in 2007. According to his performance bio, and theft by deception, as when a person commits the offense of online theft by deception, when he or she uses the internet to purchase or attempt to purchase property from a seller with a mode of payment that he or she knows is fictitious, stolen, or lacking the consent of a valid account holder. Penalties range from probation to 30 years in prison. Okay, so I will include that link. This is 2009. So then I have another article I will put in the way back. I mean, I'll put in the description. This is an article from 2016. And it is an article by Steve oh, E-U-C-K-E-R-T, <laughs> Associated Press, New York News. Manhattan psychic who ran Craigslist scam sued for owing money to PR firm hired to fix his image. So this article is, he had 
hired a PR company called ZTPR. He owes him $3,000 according to court documents. He had worked in Chicago as a drag queen. And then ZTPR, the PR company, completed all the services of helping him build and exaggerate in the press his public profile as a believable psychic medium according to court papers. Gosh, I'd like to get a hold of those court papers. Anybody know how I can get a hold of those court papers? That would be really interesting. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, he was once a well-known Chicago drag queen and was busted in 2009 for posting bogus apartment ads on Craigslist and stealing security deposits from unsuspecting renters. The charlatan told the news he's worked out a settlement with ZTPR, but the company said a deal was still being hammered out. The matter has already been settled out of court, John said. I've worked with a number of publicists with great success and respect the profession tremendously. And I believe this for you to, to read on your own. These are both archived versions of the articles in the Wayback Machine. I save everything in the Wayback Machine or screenshots or videos of everything so that I have these for later in case the article disappears. Whoosh, disappears. We're going to look at this three-minute reading. I have not seen it. I don't even know if it's a reading. I think it's him just talking to the camera back in 2012. At least it was uploaded, uploaded in 2012. So that's in between the time where he has been busted for um, Craigslist ads, that uh, Craigslist selling apartments that he didn't own and getting people's deposits and then skipping out on them, ghosting them. And this other time, whenever he hired a PR firm to clean up his reputation and boost his profile to make him look believable and he didn't pay the bill. Maybe he did later. All I know is that he didn't pay it enough for it to get newspaper articles about it. So let's look at this video. It's three minutes. I don't think we're going to get a reading. I think he's just going to be talking about what the world of, I, I don't know. Let's, I, don't, I really don't know what we're going to see. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Thomas John. I'm a psychic medium living in New York City. A lot of people ask me what a psychic medium does. Um, the answer is not an easy one, but a psychic medium is basically someone who makes predictions about the future, and um, uh, a medium is, the medium part of it is more someone who connects with the spirit world and talks with people who have passed over, um, basically our deceased loved ones. So all mediums are psychics, all, all mediums receive information about the future, so they have psychic abilities, but all psychics are not mediums, so mediums are kind of a higher brand, so to speak, of the psychic world. Um, I discovered my gift when I was quite young. Um, I had a, a paternal grandfather who passed away before I was even born, actually. And as a young boy, I was raised in a Catholic household, and I started receiving information um, from my grandfather um, about his passing, about things that he wanted my dad to do, about things that he wanted my grandmother to do, and I started passing this information on to my parents. My parents were really freaked out and thought that I needed an exorcism. Um, but luckily, they sort of embraced it, embraced it, but they also sort of told me I needed to do something else in my time. So I had a lot of imaginary friends growing up. Went off to college and then got guided back in this direction actually after I had a few experiences myself with one of my close friends passing away and my grandmother who I was very close to. And both of them started coming to me really <clears throat> in my early 20s and I started to um, reconnect with my gift. Um, as part of my work too, um, <clears throat> one of the most rewarding parts of my work <clears throat> is that I actually am able to help um, forensic and criminal and police investigations um, in searching for missing persons, um, murder investigations, um, cold cases, um, and the like. And I've actually helped um, numerous investigations with providing them accurate information <clears throat> that they wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. Um, in one case, for example, there was a cold case that I was helping in southern um, Southern Massachusetts, Southeast Massachusetts, and it was actually a missing woman who had gone missing for about 20 years. And as a medium, I was able to connect with her deceased grandmother 
<clears throat> who told me, no, she's not with me. And I ended up over a series of consultations with the police department and state police, giving them information that she was not passed away, <clears throat> she had gone and started another life in Europe, and it was later validated about two years later, once the police started listening to me, that she was living in Europe, she was alive and well, <clears throat> it was before 9-11, and she had been able to you know, secure a passport and basically just go to Europe and restart her life. So that's just one of the examples of the hundreds of cases that I've helped and contributed to in terms of forensic or cold case evaluations. Hey, just making a note here. Okay, what'd you guys think? Make sure you put something in the description of the YouTube video here. I'd like to know what you guys all think of this kind of stuff. So he's absolutely right as far as the definition of a psychic and a medium. All mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. Not all psychics say they can communicate with the dead, but all people who can who say they can communicate with the dead also are psychic. Okay, so that is, that's a general definition of what it is. Mediums are a higher brand. Well, so that's what I guess they would say. Um, now, this is a PR company. This is 2012, at least that's when it was uploaded. He skipped over completely the Craigslist um, being um, all the fraud he did. And I'm only, I'm only telling you what is on that one article but if you want to do some searching on the internet for yourself for that time it's there's quite a lot of details out there about what happened and some of it may be gossip and some of it i is from reputable sources but you do your own research if you're curious and you will get an eyeful okay so he totally skipped that part in his little pr thing but you know of course why why would you want to talk about the time that you were scamming people on the internet um using craigslist for apartments in new york so i wouldn't mention that no that's not silly so all of what he said is just what he said there's no checking on that what you know what his parents thought um what he was like as a young person that's just coming out of a man who has already um, been um, arrested. I don't know if he ever got found out to be having a felon. It was a felon, but, you know, take that for what you want, what you, whatever you feel. And he says, he says that he's helped with murder investigations and um, solving crimes and solving all this other stuff. Really? Name one. He says that there was one investigation he did where a woman was supposedly dead. And so she wasn't dead because he went to her. Um, he communicated with her dead grandmother who said, no, she's not dead. She's just still alive. So Thomas was able to tell whoever it was that he was giving this reading to that the person was alive and living in Europe and had disappeared and was living a life over there with a new passport for the last 20 years. And that had happened before 9-11. And no names, no way of checking up on that. That doesn't, that's just something he says. I mean, I could say I'm an Olympic skater and that um, my I specialize in underground um underwater scuba diving and i have four fish named after me for all the species i, I mean it's just it's something you say do you think it, it's so vague how do you check it um well i could be an olympic skimp skier that does exist you can be an olympic skier there are other olympic skiers we know this do we know that people can communicate with the dead no, they can't communicate with the dead. Um, it's impossible. And that he's helped on hundreds of cases and he's, you know, been interviewed by the police. Now that is true. <laughs> he has been interviewed by the police. 
he does have firsthand knowledge of what it is like to be in jail. Um, and <laughs> he gave them information that they would not have been able to get without his help. Okay, Thomas, let's hear. Let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I find this interesting. Early Thomas John, please leave your comments in the comment section of this video. I'm very curious of what you guys think. Very interesting. That cough, he still had that cough all this time. He always says it's allergies. So maybe it is allergies. I don't know. That's It's pretty sad. He's had it for a very long time. 